The session will be open with prayer. Prayer will be offered by the chaplain of the Senate. Today's chaplain is the Reverend David T.G. of St. John's Church, Red Lion, Pennsylvania. Please rise. I would invite you to take a breath with me. Let us pray together. God of all creation and our God, we pause to acknowledge the evidence of your powerful and creative hand manifest in this glorious autumn day. Cause gratitude and appreciation to well up within us, not only through words of praise, but also through faithful stewardship and an informed ecology of earth. Remind us that we hold this planet in trust for our children and grandchildren. God of all people and our God, we pause to acknowledge the evidence of your presence in all humanity. Allow us to lay aside the pride and prejudice that divides and separates peoples, classes, races, and religions. Enable our faith and devotion to become sincere through compassionate service and extravagant generosity toward others, most especially those who are different from ourselves. God of many names and our God, we pause to acknowledge the possibilities of your spirit at work in our midst. Cause us to hear your still speaking voice in the impassioned cries of those seeking justice for their communities and for solutions to their concerns. Allow us to imagine your light and truth shining from within each other as we seek to lead or govern with equity. God of this day and of this place, we now ask for your goodness to invade our hearts, your compassion to inspire all our thoughts, your creativity to ignite our imaginations, and your love to infuse all our decisions with kindness so that we may all experience peace and prosperity in this commonwealth. Mr. President, I rise to introduce today's guest chaplain, Reverend David T.G. of St. John's United Church of Christ, located in Red Lion. Having been ordained in 1985, Reverend T.G. has led the congregation at St. John's for the last 10 years. The church's mission is a loving, supportive, Christ-centered family glorifying God, proclaiming the gospel, nurturing growth in faith, and serving all of God's children throughout the world. Reverend T.G. and his congregation live their mission by initiating medical mission trips, as well as supporting Red Lion's community reach and hosting a free community breakfast the last Saturday of every month. Would my colleagues please join me in giving Reverend T.G. a warm Senate welcome. Ooh. 